to address issues bombarding the nursing profession is a good start to improving the status quo in the healthcare delivery system. A pleasant day to our fellow nursing students and to one and all. We are from Group 3B and today we will talk about our nursing research entitled The Level of Job Satisfaction Among Nurses Who Shifted to Other Careers. To start, allow me to introduce to you all my colleagues who are Jessica Joyce Eliel, Rose Therese E. Desma, Luke John A. Linko, Sophia Francine O. Moscoso, and yours truly, Anton Joseph W. Nassis Valencia. Due to maldistributions and countrywide health inequities in nurse labor, several issues proliferate, leading to a high separation rate of 4.7% to every 5.9% accession rate, and this leads to a low nurse patient ratio. These issues centralize on job satisfaction, which is defined by Morales, Robinsons, and Griffiths as a significant part affecting performance and quality, patient safety, retention, care quality among nurses, which causes nurses to shift careers. And according to Stacy, it is a process of taking a role different from the previous work experience. The researchers believe that it is time we explore in the post-event of career shifting to gather more data that may potentiate more investigations on the issues that govern the nursing profession. Because despite our vast knowledge on these issues that lead to the shift in careers among nurses, we still cannot grasp the problems to manage them. This quantitative descriptive study utilizes a purposive non-probability sampling in gathering 140 nurses who shifted to other careers in Bacolod City. The participants with informed consent were asked to answer a survey that is a 43-item researcher-made questionnaire with a six-legged scale consisted of two parts which passed validation and reliability tests. The stored data were treated with non-parametric statistical tools and the results were analyzed in tabular presentation. The stored data will be deleted following the completion and approval of this research. For the demographic profiles out of 114 nurses who shifted to other careers, 73 were females, married, and single participants both yielded 47.4% or 54 participants. 44 work as clinical instructors and home care nurses, followed by 31 who work as technicians and associate professionals. From the total population, 59 accumulative total number of participants had a tenure of four years and above. Meanwhile, there were 70 bachelor's degree holders, 72 participants work as full-time employees, and 69 receive a monthly salary of 2,001 pesos and above. Regarding the level of job satisfaction in terms of pay, 44, 29, 30, and 30 participants express extreme satisfaction in their jobs in all items pertaining to pay, being the timeliness of pay as the highest trend on this scale. Meanwhile, 33, 10, 26, and 25 participants were extremely satisfied in their jobs in the context of promotion, the challenge on being promoted being the lowest on this scale. Moreover, 22, 23, 29, and 28 participants deemed their level of job satisfaction as extremely satisfied based on supervision. To note, motivation from superior was the highest on this trend. Moving on, 31, 35, 29, and 33 participants were extremely satisfied for their fringe benefits, with experience as the most important benefits yielded the highest trend. Next is contingent rewards. 27, 28, 22, and 19 participants were extremely satisfied and being rewarded or acknowledged for their hard work and dedication yielded the highest on this trend. Furthermore, 29, 45, 39, and 31 participants placed their level of job satisfaction at extremely satisfied in terms of operating procedures. For the highest trend is the constant learning of new skills and growth. In the context of co-workers, 37, 28, 34, and 28 participants were extremely satisfied and having a bond and connection with colleagues yielded the highest trend. Further on, 27, 27, 35, and 39 participants expressed extreme satisfaction on their job in terms of the nature of their work, yielded the highest trend is the characteristics of their job that allows them to utilize their skills and abilities. Lastly, 29, 25, 34, and 43 were extremely satisfied of their job in terms of communication, primarily due to communication. On monthly income, the level of job satisfaction among the participants significantly varied among different profiles only in terms of pay, fringe benefits, and contingent awards at 5% level of significance. 
Based on the post-op test results in terms of pay, only participants that belong under the monthly income range of 4,000 pesos to 10,000 pesos have significantly varied levels of job satisfaction from those that belong in the range 20,001 pesos and above, as well as in 10,001 pesos to 15,000 pesos and 20,001 pesos and above. Lastly, in terms of fringe benefits, monthly salaries in ranges 4,000 pesos to 10,000 pesos and 10,001 pesos to 15,000 pesos have a significant difference from 20,001 pesos and above. The results indicate that nurses who shifted to other careers receiving higher salaries have better satisfaction than those who have low salaries when factors such as pay, fringe benefits, and contingent awards are considered. The demographic profiles of nurses who shifted to other careers are majorly composed of female nurses, single and married individuals, and with bachelor's and master's degrees. Most of them work as professionals, such as clinical instructors and home health nurses, while a good number work as technicians and associates and service and sales employees in BPO companies, online platforms, entrepreneurial grounds, and government agencies such as Bureau of Fire Protection, Disaster Risk Reduction and Management Office, and Barangay Health Centers. A large cut of the population has a 10-year beyond four years with a full-time employee and status. Lastly, the majority of the population receive a monthly salary that ranges from 20,001 pesos and above. Moreover, the level of job satisfaction of nurses who shifted to other careers generally ranges from satisfied to extremely satisfied. Furthermore, the results have shown that the level of job satisfaction varies greatly among the different ranges for monthly salary in terms of pay, fringe benefits, and contingent rewards. In the grander presentation of the conclusions, it can be implied that female nurses with a bachelor or master's degree or single or married are more likely to resign from their hospital-based nursing jobs to work full-time or part-time as clinical instructors, entrepreneurial associates, home health nurses, customer service and sales representatives, online nurse auditors, barangay and city health nurses, school com and company clinic nurses, administrative officers, and rescue and special government agencies employee. One significant finding revealed that most of the participants receive a monthly salary of 20,001 pesos and above. Thus, it would further justify why the majority of these nurses who shifted to other careers express their level of job satisfaction from strongly to extremely satisfied. And it was confirmed that those with the highest pay and more benefits are more satisfied. However, the study presents a unique finding that those who receive the highest pay are more satisfied with their contingent awards. For the government officials, including the DOLI and DOH officials, they shall establish developmental programs and uphold financial stability of nurses as a response to the findings of the study that relate job satisfaction to pay, promotion, fringe benefits, contingent rewards, and operating procedures. For PNA conveners, they shall provide more platforms for nurses to advocate on their needs as emphasized in the study that pay, fringe benefits, contingent rewards are imperative factors to job satisfaction. For medical institutions and administrators, they shall potentiate reforms that improve the status quo in the workplace based on the empirical evidences of this study and future studies alike. For nurses and student nurses, they shall gain knowledge from this study to influence their decisions and actions in response to their situations to rise up rather than to give up. For future researchers, they shall be inclined towards the qualitative approach to explore more on the lived experiences of the participants and to conduct the study face-to-face. -face. Kindly scan this QR code to access a Google Drive which contains a draft of our manuscript and to be updated following the finalization of the research paper.